Hey guys, big change. I know, sort of weird, right? So I'm gonna say the obvious. I went blonde. Before anyone says that brown is more natural on me, I just want to remind you guys, I was born a blonde as a child. I was blonde, and growing up, I was mostly blonde. When I started my channel, my hair started to darken a little bit, but that was like the first time in my whole life that it started to get really dark. And then I threw some highlights in it, and then I went through my really weird puberty phase, and then I got out of puberty to have my hair dark. And then it's been dark pretty much this entire time that I've had my channel. I've been wanting to go blonde for the past year and a half to two years, I want to say. I've just always really wanted to be blonde. Um, so yesterday I went blonde and I'm basically going to explain the entire process that happened because I did go blonde in one day. It only took one day to get to this color. Now I also want to say that this is not the final color. I'm going to be doing more to it next week. I'm basically just giving my hair a break because I did a lot and I'm going to explain what I did in a few minutes. But I'm just giving my hair a break right now and then we're going to go in and we're going to throw some more highlights in there and we're going to make it more platinum. There's actually a spot on my head that pulled the exact color that I want but it wouldn't pull anywhere else on my hair for some reason. Like this little strip right here. But granted, nonetheless, I still did get blonde in a matter of one day. That's a lot to ask your hair to do, especially when you were as dark as I was. This was my hair color before I went to the hair salon. And then I came out and this is obviously the final product that it is for right now. But like I said, I'm going to be going back next week and updating it. But Here's how the process happened. I first just want to thank my hairdresser, Kelly, because she's the best and I love her. We kept the roots dark and we did that so that A, it would look more like outgrown roots because I absolutely love that look. I have loved that look for so long. I was always a huge fan of ombre. <clears throat> oh my god. Ever blondes would have really outgrown roots. I loved it. Like, I thought it was the prettiest thing ever. So, I wanted mine to look like it was just like an outgrown blonde and also I did that because um, when we were dyeing my hair we did the roots very last so when we were dyeing my hair the dye went pretty much all the way up to my root and it looked like I was wearing a wig and I know that like I just wasn't used to it but it did look very wig like on me so I also wanted to just put roots in just to kind of break myself into the blonde and because my eyebrows would not match like platinum blonde hair, which obviously I don't really want them to match it, but it would just look so disproportional to my hair and to my face. I was in the hair salon for eight hours yesterday to get it to this color. Now I know some people it doesn't take that long, some people it takes only a couple of hours, but other people it can take longer than that. It just really really depends on your starting product and where you want to be at. I got there at 2 o'clock. The first thing that we did was we bleached my hair um, and then after she bleached it we washed it, dried it, and then bleached it again. So after the first time that it was bleached it was like flaming orange. It was not pretty. It looked so bad. It was like legit orange. But then after we bleached it again it was like neon yellow highlighter yellow. And after the second bleaching, a lot of people's hair will pull differently. Um, I have this one friend and she bleached her hair and she told me that her hair um, bleached to like a white. Mine bleached to a yellow. It just depends on how your hair pulls color. Like my hair pulls red and orange a lot whenever I dye it brown. Um, so it just really, really depends on the natural pull of your hair and that's why you can't go into the salon expecting it to be like how your friends happened or how like a celebrity's happened because odds are your hair pulls differently and it won't turn out the same. And then um, it was pretty yellow so she toned it a little bit and that took a little bit of the brassiness out of it. So after she did that then she also threw in a little bit of tea which is titanium toner and we think that the titanium toner only hit this spot right around here and that's the color that I liked. So then we were like, okay, we're gonna foil it and then we're gonna throw more of the titanium toner in it. So then what we did was we did highlights all over my head after that, so that's more bleach. And what we did that purpose for was so that the blonde would have dimension in it so it wouldn't just be one shade and wig looking. Um, so it just has different like dimensions of blonde. After that she washed me out again and then she put more toner in to remove any excess brassiness um, and 
also put in a little bit more titanium just to make it as light as we could get it for this day. So at this time it was, you know, hour six and a half of the process I would say, hour seven around there. Um, and then we went in for the roots. What we did for the roots was because my hair was really light, no matter what color we put on the roots, it was going to have a big contrast regardless. Now also keep in mind that my natural roots are blonde and they're a very ashy blonde. So naturally I'm an ashy, sandy, dirty blonde. Um, so when my roots grow out, my actual roots grow out, it will fade nicely into this color and it won't look too ridiculous. Um, obviously I'm going to go touch it up and then when I go in next week for more blonde to be put in, I'm going to bring some up to the roots to blend this just a little bit more. I mean, I love it. I think it looks fantastic right now, especially when I go like this. Like, it just looks so, like, natural and, like, outgrown. I love it. But I am going to throw some more on the top um, just to blend it a little bit more, I would say. After that, we then did the roots. And my friend um, asked me, because she likes dark roots, too, with blonde hair. And she was like, oh, is that balayage? We didn't balayage it. All that we did was after all the blonde was on, I had this color. Um, we just... Well, she just like painted the roots on. She first just started by like not normally going over roots just to get my um, actual roots to, you know, be covered up. And then she just painted it down a little bit. So it kind of was balayage, but it was like reversed balayage. So then after that, that had to process, you know, whatever. Um, then we washed my hair and then she toned it one more time with a little bit more titanium and a little bit more toner just to remove the brassiness of it. And then after that, I dried it and I love it now. So this is the color that I ended up with. And it ha I, I did do it in one day. And it's a lot. Um, as of the integrity of my hair, my hair has always been really healthy. And, you know, granted that I bleached it three times yesterday, it feels really, really good. I'm not going to lie. She does use a product called Olaplex. And she told me that it helps with redamaging with no repairing damaged hair from bleach and I don't know if that made a difference or not because I haven't bleached my hair with it versus without it um yes I have but I could never really notice a difference because I would just ombre my hair um but my hair does feel really healthy honestly um I'm gonna continue with like deep conditioning it because I deep condition it every single time I'm in the shower and I feel like that does help my hair a ton so if you have like really dry, brutal hair and you're thinking of bleaching it, I would say deep condition it all the time and then your hair is just going to naturally like build up the defense system. As of like my scalp today, um, I know people were asking me did it burn my scalp. It didn't burn my scalp because I didn't bring the bleach all the way up to my roots. But it was like on here, but it, it didn't burn. I think it's just because I've colored and bleached my hair so many times that my scalp has just kind of built up a tolerancy for it and it's just kind of numbed the feeling. So it's just very tolerant to it now because I've been coloring my hair since I was 12 <laughs> and I'm 17 now. So yeah, I think that's all that I had to say and all the questions that I were really getting about it. Um, I do plan on going platinum. I know a lot of people on Instagram are like, oh, I thought you were going platinum. Yes, I am going platinum, but you can only do so much in a day. But um, we got as light as I could in one day and it's all I could ever ask for, so I'm so excited. But it is going to get lighter than this as time goes on, so if you guys want to see it, obviously it's going to be in YouTube videos, but the first place that I always update with like hair updates is my Snapchat, and if you guys followed it yesterday when I got it done, um, it's probably still up on my story, like a couple of them are probably still up on my story right now. Um, it was just like hair updates after hair update after hair update and everyone on Twitter was like, oh my god, I want to see it. I'm like, I know I want to see it too because I was literally going through it as you guys were. It was really funny. It was really fun to like interact with you guys doing that. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to keep going blonder and I'm eventually going to get it to like a platinum shade that I am very, very satisfied with. Hopefully like that shade right underneath there. It's so funny that it only pulled right there. But yeah, this is my new hair for right now, so I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Do you see the fuzz? Also, make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe because I do upload twice a week. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all in my next one. See ya!